Good afternoon from sunny England. I'm so happy the weather's kept going like the way it has been over the past two months. We've just been in Lithuania watching heat wave after heat wave that never ends in England and it's carrying on and you can just see the mm. ground is so dusty. So Bonneville update. It's now been MOT'd which is the annual check meaning it's road legal and every single miner which is something that won't fail the MOT but it will be potentially dangerous within the next few miles. Everything's been sorted. So loose pegs, front and rear sorted. Brake pads, front and rear done. Six minutes to do. And bearing in mind, this is me. I'm no pro mechanic. Six minutes to change the front pad. Just 10 minutes to change the rear pad. Otherwise, I would have had to wait two weeks. Three weeks, actually. So the bike has really never been better. I think now it would pass an MOT without even one minor. And, Spent and you cleaned it. No, does it look like it? Yeah. The light is its friend today. It looks I didn't actually clean. Oh, and I adjusted the chain actually as well okay. and oiled it. It looks very good from far. Yeah, and then you get a bit closer, but, oh dear. <laughs> I may, I may clean it today actually. Maybe. I haven't done this in a while. Let me do a gear for the day, purely because some of the stuff I've been, I'm wearing now, I got about two years ago and I haven't worn it for a while. This, for example, this is from an Australian company called Blackbird. So mm -hmm. this is the Blackbird Black Hawk jacket. Mm -hmm. Size medium, I'm six foot one, about 80 kilos. And it's a really nice splash proof, not completely waterproof, I'll be honest, but splash proof jacket. Nice inner. That's got the padding, proper armor but actually on the I back. I think you unstitched the labels, haven't you? Yeah, if you look online, it's got a label there and a few other labels. I actually like things a bit more stealth. So I did actually unpick a label that was right there. So you may not see it looking exactly the same, but it's a really nice, good quality jacket that, and quite unusual to get a cotton jacket in green for biking. That is the Rage shiny black helmet, French company, all of the padding comes out just with Velcro, mm -hmm. which is brilliant. So you pull it out with, it. sorry, just a bee, literally a bee on my ear. So you can just pull it out with Velcro, mm -hmm. chuck it in the washing machine with normal clothes. You don't need to take proper care of it, 40 degree wash and it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. I always wear these German company, Throttle Snake Glove Trotter Gloves with, this is something, I've had these for about two years. These are, Tobacco, yeah. tobacco motorwear jeans, mm -hmm. made in California, proper US based company. And I've just had the legs taken up because they come in one leg size of about 36 inches. Had them two years, always too lazy. Just taken them up, really nice pair of jeans with a Kevlar lining in the impact areas. And from Italy, Steel Martin, U-Rock boots. Mm. Proper stitching all the way around. Just a very, very nice, good quality pair of boots. You had them for a very long time, I think. I have, about two years two actually. Years, yeah. yeah, yeah, really nice. Maybe there are some tough ones out there, slightly thin leather, but they look really good. Mm -hmm. Right, let's hit the road. Feels great. Do you know, it feels great to have the Bonneville. I was for the last two weeks in Lithuania, desperately missing having my own, even car, bike or car, my own transport. I won't be doing that again next time. Next time I'm taking the car, the trailer, the Bonneville, or just the Bonneville. Nothing beats your own transport. I know it may seem normal for a lot of people, but I think I worked out we've spent about one and a half months in the past year in England. So things that you take for granted usually, they suddenly seem amazing. I mean, look at this, just <laughs> a lovely old British country lane. It's so nice, just winding around from different farm to different farm, and it's so dry now. And who knows what old pubs, what old little villages we're going to find along the way. Just turn off motorways and you have no idea what treats are to come.
I've never actually seen one of these in the flesh. I just stopped off for coffee at a glamping site. Mm -hmm. I think that may be an English word, so anyone who's not English and has no idea what that means, that is glamorous camping. I like this. Looks quite good, doesn't it? Basically, yeah. the tent's ready for you. In essence, it's a little bit like a studio apartment, but it happens to be a tent. All of the creature comforts and a yeah. whole load of nice looking like mm -hmm. showers and toilet area with a coffee shop there. Amazing. Let's go and check it out. Yeah. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I am actually in two days time <laughs> off on the Bonneville with my tent again. I'm giving camping another go. <laughs> and you know what, honestly, looking at these now, I'm thinking... But is... you will be staying at the campsite. Yeah, I'll be staying at the campsite. I'm giving myself a budget of about 10 pounds a night. But yeah. I'm thinking, looking at these, is that more sensible? <laughs> Paying a little bit more and letting someone else do it. I think these are quite expensive. I yeah, think. I know. And, and judging by the UK, anything in the UK with regards to renting stuff for a night, property-wise, yeah. this... is gigantic money. So it's probably... My guess is it probably still be about eighty pounds a night. Yeah, 100%, probably. Again, you'd have no idea it's just behind a little fence I'll just move this a bit so you can see a little fence on the main road we're right on a river here with sheep the other side and you have people just paddle boarding and canoeing around this meander on the river idyllic I checked prices of glamping it's about 80 to 120 pounds a night which I think is about expected in the UK it also takes a bit of adjusting because when we were in Lithuania for six weeks, you start getting used to Lithuanian food prices. So for example, it would usually cost about 15 to 18 pounds for a couple of coffees and a little meal in Vilnius. Whereas here in the UK, just getting used to it again, it's closer to about 26, 28 pounds. So it's quite a big difference actually. I don't know if prices have gone up noticeably since we've been away but definitely you can feel the difference in pricing. Thank you. Cheers. So we'll polish off these and then I think maybe just head down the road a little bit because some beautiful looking places around here and it's a place that we haven't really experienced before. Highly highly recommended. All of the details written description for this place because it's definitely worth a visit. I thought this area is unusually picturesque. This is Flatford, and this is Constable Country. Famous English painter from about two, 250 years ago, John Constable lived here. And all of this area is famous because all around us are areas that he painted and made famous with his paintings. I mean, it's ridiculously stunning. Really, really beautiful. Thatch cottages there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Just past here on the waterfront, there are boats there just leading onto a red brick house at the back. 
it's like everywhere you look, every angle is, is a Constable painting. It's stunning. And we had no idea that this existed, actually, to be completely honest. We were just on a nice little ride and we genuinely stumbled across it. And imagine here, renting out one of the rowing boats or a paddle board and just exploring the waterways all the way along here. Very special place here. Really, really stunningly beautiful. I cannot believe this is probably, I would say about 18 to 20 minutes away from Ipswich. And also, this is just under two hours away from London. What a place to spend the day. It's amazing. cottage and this house has been immortalized not because John Constable lived here but because he painted this house so this is a hugely famous house in the history of John Constable's paintings I have to show you this as well <laughs> ceiling is about six foot tall here and look at the angle of the beams coming down and look at the angle of the door Amazing, I think it's about 500 years old, this house, and the water is right in front of us. And the bridge we were walking over is right out here. In fact, Monica, come have a look at this. I think they've tried to keep it exactly as it was when Constable painted it with all of the, the original things here or as original as possible. And have a look at that view with the thatched roof all around it. Oh. Stunning. They were definitely shorter back then. There's a sign on that chair and it says that in the winter, the water actually rises up so high that it comes up through the flooring here. And last winter, the weather was so severe that there's a snow drift and actually blocked or cut off the house from the lane up above. So this was completely cut off with water coming up through the flooring. So they have to lift all of the furniture in the winter so nothing gets damaged. This is Willie Lott's house, and this is the house of a tenant farmer who used to farm the 39 acres around this area here. He couldn't read or write, he was never married, never had any children, but in 1825, he managed to buy this house and a little bit of land around it. The house itself is about 500 years old, but what a little story. And this is Valley Farm, and I think I saw someone there earlier. We can't go in because this is actually someone's private house who lives there. Stunning. You can also see how dry it's been because you can almost not differentiate the gravel path and the grass on either side. Okay, we'll end it there. Next video coming up, I've got over a thousand mile round trip down to Cornwall, loop back round and all the way back to Ipswich. And I'll take you along for that because I've got a few little places that I want to visit on the way. So proper road trip coming up. Thanks so much everyone for coming along. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.